Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So yeah, the iPhone has a camera, but can you do anything with the photos other than, you know, rotate them and email them and save them to your computer? Not really. And that's where you may want to pick up Piccoli, that's P-I-C-O-L-I, -I, available right now for $5 in the App Store. And I can almost guarantee uh, this is going to be a top app uh, real quick because it works, it works well, and it is e extensive in terms of the tools that you will have in your pocket. So right now I've got a picture of Wicket that I just took, and I'm going to apply a brightness filter, so it looks like Wicket needs to be a little brighter. There, see, he's already showing up better now. So I press OK there, so it applies the filter. Now I can move on to the next filter I've, now that I've adjusted the brightness, and I'm going to adjust the sharpness of this photo just by moving the slider up and then saying, do I like that? Is it sharp enough? There we go. So now he's sharper. We'll press OK. And now we'll go to, let's say, the next filter, which is saturation. So I can decrease the saturation or increase the saturation. So I can either make him more red or just slightly less red. It's not bad. Of course, it looks different on the camera, I think, than it does from uh, where you're sitting. But we'll just say, for argument's sake, uh, we'll go down a bit. Now, illumination. And let's move the slider. Let's go about halfway. All right. He's looking better for you guys. He's looking different for me, but I think you're getting the idea. It's easy to tweak. Now we'll move on to contrast. There we go. If anything, sharpness and contrast is what you want to adjust the most in your photos, specifically photos taken with the iPhone. There we go. Maybe a little too much for you. Take it down a bit. There we go. Just a little bit of contrast. Apply the image filter. Uh, and you don't have to tweak everything in a photo, obviously. You, you may look at it and go, oh, I just need to tweak this, that, or the other thing. You can just tweak one thing at a time, but I'm just you know, showing you what you can do. So we'll set the color balance. Here, it's a little warmer there. We can, I think, go a little cooler. There we go. Wicket's looking better. And let's go to the next tool, sepia tone, which I really don't want to adjust. Uh, color dither, uh, and that's just an on or off. So, oh, great. Yeah, that's not cool. Someone calls me. I get interrupted. Uh, so there's the color dither, a gray dither, and it's almost like a posterization only instead of, uh, there's actually a posterization setting here. I'll get to it in a second. There's the uh, night vision. That's kind of cool. But I really don't want Wicket in night vision as much. There's the posterization. It's kind of cool. Style effects. All on camera. I mean, just so easy. Uh, there's the sunburn effect here. That was kind of fun. And we have the rotate 90, mirror left and right, mirror top to bottom, bright, and then going back to brightness. If you want to jump directly to a tool, you just tap into the menu and then select which one you want, and you can jump directly to it. So I'm expecting that uh, not only uh, will this jump to a top app real soon, but they're likely to uh, add other filters and, and tweaking, uh, I guess, settings within the app over time. For $5, you know, I honestly... I would expect to spend like $20 on this kind of app. So I don't know if it's going to be a loss leader or they're just doing it just to gain market share, but they absolutely have won me over. Uh, it's easy to you know use. Uh, I can now save that image out. I can pick a photo from the library or I didn't say library. I said library. It just sounded like I said library. Library is not a word, uh, nor is... Well, never mind. So I could go and take a picture directly from the camera from the app uh, if I wanted to, if the image hadn't been taken already. So I got to tell you, this is indispensable. Uh, this is a good app, an example of $5 very well spent. And uh, yeah, I expect to see m much more. Sorry about that. I got some idiot trying to call me. Why someone's trying to call me at midnight and I don't have a life? Hello. Anyway, uh, you're welcome to email me. Maybe you found another really cool uh, iPhone app that I haven't looked at yet or certainly shared with the rest of the community. Email address is chris at perillo.com. Please don't call me. I, I'm just not into the phone that way. I'm into playing with my iPhone, but that's about it. Uh, then uh, you can also stop by the, the website. Uh, we've got this uh, chat room. Uh, it's open like all the time. And we're typically talking tech. Sometimes I'm talking about like the iPhone apps that just get released. I'm like, dude, did you check it out? Oh, this is great. This is awesome. And then I'm sharing it with everybody like live and in real time without officially like recording a video or anything. Uh, so if you want, you can see here's my hands. See, look at me. Ah, it's my hands. How you doing? See, these are the hands that you normally see. Like when you come over to the chat room, that's... The, this chat room here, you can be a part of it. Just stop by. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.